Hey guys, quick video on the topic of voltage versus speed and how the ESCX power supply can help make your tattooing experience more consistent. We have a basic demonstration here with our power supply hooked to a Axis Fahala. We have a 27 mag. This little circuit board with a green light on it is an optical sensor, which is going to sense every time this needle moves in and out. Uh, it will send a pulse to our oscilloscope so we can get a accurate frequency readout. And we have a voltmeter to confirm that the displayed voltage on the power supply is correct. So I'm going to start this Axis Valhalla at 8.5 volts. And we're going to check that our displayed voltage is right. And it's right within 300 of a volt. And we're reading 79 hertz on the power supply and we're reading 79 hertz on the oscilloscope. If I hit the skin with this 27 mag, we're gonna see that our voltage stays consistent. However, our machine speed every time I hit the skin is dropping by several hertz. We can confirm this is accurate by correlating it with our oscilloscope readings. So sure enough, we are dropping. 76 and change. Okay, so now what we're going to do is switch the ESCX into speed mode. We are requesting 80 hertz, and it is showing us that it is outputting 8.5 volts, which is correct. What we'll see now is every time we hit the skin, our voltage is actually going to ramp up. It's only going to ramp up as much as needed to maintain the speed that we've requested. So we can see that we're going from 8.5 volts to 8.8 .8 volts, but we can see on our oscilloscope that our speed is staying very consistent and not dropping below 79 hertz. What this is gonna do is it's going to allow you to switch between machines and set a a frequency or a speed in Hertz and the power supply will figure out the exact voltage that is required to run the machine under the current conditions at that speed. With a consistent speed and no machine bog, you're going to notice that you don't have to compensate by adjusting your hand speed um, to get the consistency out of the machine that you're looking for. It will act a lot more like a, co a well-tuned coil and the punctures per second will stay extremely consistent across varying loads, whether you're running large mags, small liners, stiff membrane, soft membrane, uh, it doesn't matter. The power supply is going to figure out exactly how much voltage is needed to keep that machine running exactly where you want it. So if you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear them. Um, starting the topic, hashtag punctures per second. Uh, let us have it.